Close your eyes, watch your breath. See if you can stay with the breath for the entire meditation, not wander off at all. When you have a short meditation like this, you want to get the most out of it. With long meditations, part of the minds will say, well, I've got a whole hour here. I can give five minutes to thinking about this first, thinking about that first. But when you've only got five minutes like this, you want to get right down to business. Where is the spot in the body where you feel most at home? Go straight there. What kind of breathing feels best there? You should have some idea by now. And then just stick with it. The sticking with it is what makes all the difference. Otherwise, the breath just becomes one more place you check on your trap lines as you go through this item and that item and spend a little time with the breath and go someplace else. But for it to make a real difference in the mind, you have to stay here as long as you can. Notice when the, your grip on the breath starts getting a little loose, how do you tighten it up again? Not tightening in the sense of making the breath tight, but just being really firm in your concentration. And then riding through the, the rhythms that would ordinarily pull you away. And it's this way mindfulness gets developed. And when your mindfulness is developed, then you start seeing things a lot more clearly in the mind. Because we're looking for cause and effect. When a certain thought comes into the mind, it's going to have an effect. But if you're not consistently there, you're not going to see the effect, because sometimes the effect is right, happening right at the same time, and sometimes it happens a little further down the line. And if it's happening further down the line, then you're not really sure about the connections. It's as if there were a TV set on in, your, in the dining room, and you walk into the room and then you walk out, and then five minutes later you walk in again, walk out again. And it's really hard to follow what's happening on the, on the plot of the show. You may be able to guess a little bit, but you don't really know. You have to stay there and watch the whole thing to see what's really happening. It's the same with the mind. You have to stay right here if you want to see the mind in action and see what the results of its actions are. That way you begin to learn what's skillful and what's not skillful. If you already have some idea, it gets confirmed. Yes, you're thinking this way and it's going to have an impact on the mind, a bad impact. You're thinking another way, it's going to have a better impact. You have the choice. This way you get to know yourself a lot better. But the important principle is learning how to stick with it. That's what makes your concentration stronger, makes your mindfulness stronger. And your discernment becomes more continuous.